we're looking at is uh, how to break posture and off balance. And again, you know, 90% of the, the, the breaking posture in closed guard will be um, with the knee pull and pulling the guy forward. Um, sometimes we have to go backwards, whereby if Matthew has his head over his hips, when I try to bring my knees up high, just kind of, just like he's kind of here, and I'm not getting him, the Kazushi then will be backwards. Okay, so I'll be coming up to the knee. Position, 
Let's um, turn this into a more realistic environment whereby uh, Monty's got his grip. I mean, look at different grips, there's different things he can do from here. If that's the case, and he has this grip and he's got control of my hips, I'm not going to go in and put my right hand, um, even though that's my strongest grip. I'm actually going to use my other hand. Why? Because it's coming across this post. So again, now I'll be using this hand to open up, pass it to this one, my head moves off mine, I'm coming up with the elbow, and he make that grip. And now, I'm going to use my elbow driving into his elbow. I kind of get a bend. Is that posture, bro? No, it's this. So give him one more time on that. We're in a position, so this is how we're going to drill it. Um, first part, if you haven't really done this before, I would just do what I was doing with our frames. So get into the habit of opening this up, passing it, moving my head offline, coming on to my side, sliding the set, curling the wrist, elbow come into my body, at no stage am I using bicep strength. And then from there all I gotta do is get his head move an inch in front of his hips and then put him into the body. Um, have a few goes at that, then we're gonna put it into this drill. There's three parts of the drill. Obviously whatever arm, most people are right on us and use their strongest arm to keep me um, flat on my back. So from this position, my, my left hand's gonna open it up, pass it to my right, I move my head off line. Coming up onto my right shoulder and I slide this hand in. From there, I curl my wrist, my elbow's coming to my hip. But if you notice, Matthew's arm is in the way. And when I do that, it's just the knee pull to bring him down. Okay. Second option is we talked about what does Matthew want to do from that position? He wants to stand up. The minute he stands up, I pull on the second leg going up. Um, I maybe didn't make that clear last night. The minute he posts that foot, I'm not pulling there. Yeah. When he posts the foot, I wait until the second leg comes up. Now I have it. If you notice, it looks as if I'm pulling with my hand, but I'm not. This hand is just monitoring. Alright, again. It's my legs is pulling up. My legs is the, is the horse part. That's what's going to get him down. The hand's just there as a monitor, just to give him a little, you know, to move his head an inch, if that makes sense. So the first one, when he makes that initial grip, here, okay, I open up the lapel, pass it to my right hand, move my head off me, come on my shoulder, this comes in, curl of the wrist, as I bring this to my body, okay, I kind of get a bend in this, and then I pull, break him down, that's option one. Option two, he goes to stand up. I wait until the second leg comes up and then pull with my legs to get him down. Option three. Stands up. I was late. Now I put him in the fifth foot vulnerability, which is his head is lower than his hips. That one. And now from this position, we have loads of options, but for those that have been here a little while longer, your top lock is there. I want the 45 inside, so I'll make a grip on the lapel. On the collar, I start climbing with my legs until I get into the top lock position. And then from there I can pin the wrist. I'm not going into detail on that because we'll be covering it in a separate segment. So this is keep it simple. If you haven't, sorry to if you haven't done this before, okay, you're gonna open up the lapel with your right hand, pass it to your left, turning on to my shoulder, and make my grip. And then I do two things. I curl the back of my wrist into his collarbone and I bring my elbow to my hip. Once I get his head forward slightly, I use the knee to bring him down. In a more realistic environment, he has the post. Obviously, I want to be bringing this arm across and not this one, but I can use my elbow. So if he's using his right hand, I'm easily going to make the cross cutter grip with my left hand. Again, from that position. US straight, and now when I curve and bring my elbow down and use that knee pull, I can easily bring him down. Obviously, he doesn't want to stay there, why is he, he, he here? He wants to stand up. When he posts his foot, second leg goes up, knee pulling. It looks as if I'm pulling, but I'm not pulling this visually. Right? I'm using my knee pull. It's hard to see this. Um, it's a bit something, isn't the answer? If I'm late, he gets to his feet, 
You know what the fifth bummer about it? Which is him bent over his head, is below his hips. And I can keep him there, with this cross collar grip. I just find the sleeve and then we switch to the second vulnerability, which was the top lock. 45 inside where I can climb with my legs, get my top lock, switch to the wrist, under the leg. Okay, so.